here on the list. I'm Jean Jeffcoat. There's a new restaurant around town that up until now could only be found in places like Australia and Brazil. Jake Peterson takes us to the Tampa Cafe that specializes in crepes. Look what's cooking off Kennedy Boulevard in Tampa. The flying pan just opened and they're serving up crepes. Tampa has been very welcoming to us. You won't find this international chain anywhere else in the U.S. Ideally, what I'm trying to do here is create a cluster of probably four or five stores in the greater Tampa Bay area. The owners picked the Bay Area to be the restaurant's first American test market. And here it's a very good mix between business and residents and tourists. And you've got the holiday feel with St. Pete Clearwater and Sarasota. Everything meets in the middle. And owner Lawrence Cognant says Tampa Bay's history of successful chains like Hooters and Outback is another reason why he brought his yummy menu here. We're actually in an all-day neighborhood cafe. Um, European inspired. The French inspired crepe is at the top of the menu. And the crepe itself is actually a fun product to watch. It, it, it's, it's, it's not like a sandwich, it's actually a bit more interesting. You pour, you, you, know, you spread, you flip it around, you put a lot of goodies inside. Here are some of the crepes on the list. How about a vegetarian with mozzarella and tomatoes? Or the Mexican inspired crepe? This one is like a quesadilla. And then you have your more traditional fruit crepes. Try one, or how about all three? These guys look like they know how to work off a crepe or two. This summer, Tampa's hosting the Veteran Wheelchair Game. There are 500 paralyzed athletes participating, and organizers need your help to pull it all off. About 3,000 volunteers are needed to do activities like setting up equipment, serving meals, and transportation. Volunteers can be as young as 14, but you have to sign up by June 13th. If you want to help, we have a link on our website, thelistshow.tv. For The List, I'm Jake Peterson.